Hello, uh, this is Carmen Moore, a living American composer, I'm pleased to be able to say, uh, and inviting you to a concert on February 1st, 2018, uh, as part of the interpretation series uh, that's run by Tom Buckner. Uh, my group, the Sky Music Ensemble, will be playing, and there's some wonderful musicians playing in, in my group and have been for many years. Uh, we will be performing five, five different of, my, of uh, compositions of mine, that uh, all of which feature the Sky Music Ensemble. Uh, we'll open with a piece uh, that uh, I actually, uh, that we performed at the Studio Museum in Harlem. And I thought that the piece was, was finished and wonderful and all of that. And, uh, later came to realize, oh my God, I really want to do this piece right. So I've totally rewritten it, and it's now called Harlem. Um, and uh, in Perrin's uh, Morningside Mystique, uh, it sort of refers to, to Morningside Park, uh, which is sort of like the western end of Harlem, sort of with the idea that Harlem started there and spread eastward uh, to the uh, Harlem River, and um, and the idea there is that uh, that that piece of ground has experienced Mother Nature, you know, without a human being in sight, um, and then the the uh, the uh, Native Americans showed up, and uh, they considered it a very very special place. Uh, and then the Dutch showed up, and then the English, and then uh, American, uh, actually Jews showed up in Harlem as it spread, spread east, uh, eastward. Uh, then the African Americans came up with the, with the Great Migration, and Harlem became, of course, the, the cultural mecca that, uh, that it remains. Um, so I make music in this, in this piece called Harlem that that uh, that spreads the way the the, the way the, the geographic uh, Harlem spread uh, over the years. Um, then uh, there's a there's another piece that uh, I had done to some extent at uh, at MoMA recently um, uh, that I call uh, Dante Hellwater, and, and it's about one circle of hell. Um, and this was the part of the Robert, at the end of the Robert Rauschenberg show there. Um, and uh, it, it features a flying piano line with a baritone horn, like uh, acting like the devil underneath. And, and, uh, and then um, the sound of rain falling at the same time is quite mad. And it's, it, it's short, but, but uh, but that's quite nice. And then there's a piece that I, we have done in the past called the Quiet Piece, which is uh, which um, which um, um, I like that features bells and and uh, and the um, um, and vibraphone and uh, and the rest of the group too. Then there's a piece called Point Counterpoint, in which which is about in a way it's the history of music, but it also uh, describes the whole thing starting with the Big Bang as a point. Uh, and the counterpoint is us <laughs> and uh, you know everything that has come, come after as a kind of grand reverb. And uh, at any rate, uh, there's a poem that, uh, that I've written for this um, about it all that uh, Tom Buckner will be, will be reading and then the musicians imitate him reading and so it creates a certain thick counterpoint that uh, that's uh, I think it's quite uh, quite a knockout and then um, that's a relatively short piece and then we have our, our uh, 
a signature piece, which is Righteous Heroes and, uh, and uh, that one. Features the musicians in various ways and allows me to improvise as, as a conductor to call in certain sections and take things out, bring people in, create duets, all kinds of things like that. Uh, so uh, half written, half improvised. Uh. The Sky Music Ensemble is a group I started uh, oh, way back, sort of officially 1980 uh, in uh, Greenwich Village and uh, it's a group that has terrific readers who also are terrific improvisers. And so uh, I have been composed, I compose for symphony orchestras, New York Philharmonic, San Francisco Symphony, uh, Cleveland Orchestra, etc. Uh, in the past, but this group is, is cl really close to my heart. Uh, because the idea of being able to extend a written piece using uh, improvisation by people who are sensitive to what they've been playing and flow out of the written into the improvised just uh, seamlessly and back in. Uh, uh, and, and this is, it has been something I've been uh, championing for, for many years. Um, one of my early, my, the earliest group uh, featured people like the great uh, Sam Rivers uh, saxophone marvel and uh, who also played flute with us. Uh, uh, Leroy Jenkins, violinist, wild man who was, gave us like a, a certain kind of bite. Uh, we have uh, also, we have uh, synthesizer players like uh, Ken Michelle, who was part of the first Moog Quartet, um, and uh, Gordon Gottlieb and Eli uh, Fontaine, percussionists, uh, just magical players. Um, so on this February 1st concert that's coming up, uh, uh, Martha Mook, the, the, the wonderful violist, is going to be going to come and, and play with us. Um, and uh, so, so we love hearing each other. Uh, well, I don't play; I wave my hands. But uh, you can, they they seem to be able to hear these hands uh, when they need to. And the music's in front of them. The written music's in front of them. Um, and I compose it to make them sound great. Um, of course, the the first. Uh, order of business is, is to write a terrific piece, but uh, knowing the players, why well, I sort of anticipate what's going to come out of them. I've also added a, a wonderful Senegalese um, singer to one of, one of my pieces, uh, and uh, Mordior Bamba, who, is, uh, who has come in in, in uh, one of the pieces that we'll be doing um, is called Righteous Heroes. Yeah. And um, it's constructed for solo, for uh, people who solo over some written music. And um, so uh, I decided to, um, why not have a singer, you know, uh, at the end? And so he, he just fits right in. That's very exciting. So. Well, I'm from Ohio originally, and I went to Ohio State and thought I was going to be a French horn player and started hearing music in my head and decided I must explore this. Um, and someone hooked me up with Hall Overton here in New York City, and I studied, studied with him for four years. That was very fruitful, and uh, at the end of which I'd become a composer. And, um, and uh, I also became music critic for the Village Voice for many years, and uh, as a result, met a lot of wonderful colleagues, musical colleagues, and tried not to uh, use it as a stepping stone to anything. Uh, tried to make the music be the stepping stone. So, uh, um, and uh, so since then, um, besides uh, starting the Sky Music Ensemble. Uh, I have um, had performances, uh, Pierre Boulez conducted uh, uh, 
piece of mine called Wildfires and Field Songs with the New York Philharmonic. Um, and uh, 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 I've had, uh, had works by the San Francisco Symphony, Cleveland Orchestra, uh, and uh, Chamber Music Society of Lincoln Center. So a lot of things have, uh, have transpired and I feel very fortunate to have had that, uh, all that happen. So, um, as I said, I went to Ohio State and then the Masters from Juilliard and, and uh, met uh, uh, Luciano Barrio, who became my, uh, my next com uh, com composition teacher and uh, learned a lot from him. Uh, Vincent Persichetti at Juilliard also learned a lot from him. So, um, it, it's really, very exciting to think of myself as having a subconscious that's full of enough skill and, and uh, uh, musical savvy to decide to mix different different worlds of music with other worlds of music and and see what comes out. So you know, it's uh, the experimental side of of, of composing is is a very ex exciting part for me. So, um, yeah, um, I can't think of anything that would be more exciting to do than compose music.